Hello and welcome again to the Trailer Fits Toolbox. Let's have a look at rib nuts and installation. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, fit a rib nut with a tool and without a tool. We're going to have a tool review and we're also going to cover these wonderful rubber rib nuts. There's definitely a time and a place for rib nuts. One of those being the uh, Defender Front Light Guard. And if you're interested, Paddocks do a range of accessories for Land Rovers access their website from the link below. I have quite a collection of rib nuts that I use on a regular basis and there's quite a few available on the market, different sizes and different threads. This one here is a, a hollow wall screw anchor which you can actually fit with 6mm. We have also a uh, rib stud which is fantastic if you have the tool for it, unlucky that I don't have the fitting, and um, steel inserts. You need a tool like this to pull these through as the uh, material is actually quite strong. What we're going to do today is use a uh, aluminium metric threaded uh, rib nut. Firstly what I'm going to do is make sure that I have uh, the right size and I'm using a vernier calipers. For this M8 fitting I'm going to need an 11mm drill hole. It's always great to have a set of drills, unfortunately this only goes up to 10mm. Luckily I do have an 11mm drill bit. I'm sure I don't have to uh, tell you how to drill a hole. However, on the uh, this piece is just a test piece to show you for demonstration purposes. The uh, aim here is to um, get a clean hole with no burrs either side. Obviously in a blind hole you can't remove the burr, but it, it would be good practice if you can do and um, I have the right drill bit and you need to have a nice tight fit for this to, to fit into, it doesn't need to be sloppy. I have here a nut and a bolt and this is a, a terrible technique, I don't know how people get away with it but they do sometimes, is to use a nut and bolt to uh, pull the rib nut up. Problem I'm having here is as I'm turning it, it's actually turning the rib nut which is no good. What you're looking for when actually installing them is to have it bulge underneath there and if it moves it won't. Now I've actually managed to do this this is not a brilliant way but once it's fixed you can see that will pull it up and because the thread isn't through it's actually um, damaging it, it's twisting at this point and this is, this is a bad technique. Alright what I do and this is quite awkward because you need three hands for this is just slightly bulge it just slightly bulge it so it will fit in the hole better, it will grip and um, it can be turned through. As you see here the thread is all the way through the riv nut therefore it's not going to distort the threads as it's been pulled up and I can now pull this through. It's quite an awkward technique but you can see here that it's actually working. This would be great if you're only using one or two and you don't need to buy a tool to, uh, to install these. A better alternative to using a nut and bolt is the uh, Memfast tool. Now this is a very good tool for doing a repetitive job. You can either use your hand on this or you could use a spanner to pull this up and you can see that the rib nut is bulging up properly. This one happens to be an M6. Okay so let's get a little bit intimate with this tool. Now this is supplied by Make Ends Meet or Memfast. Details on the screen here. Firstly, there's a washer that goes in there and that's quite important. You also have a uh, thrust bearing if you like, which will relieve some of the pressure. So there'll be no metal cut and you need a washer to encapsulate it. I'll drop a little bit of oil in there. And you also have a ferrule. That's important to retain this together. The drive screw is then dropped into place. And this is driven by the uh, spindle here, which is fitted in this manner and screwed down. Just as a note it's worth holding it in this position while you're assembling it because if you drop it down this way you'll see that the ferrule actually gets in the way and you'll need to screw your handle into there. Um, the handle won't screw all the way down and it will cause damage otherwise. I'll show you. Look. Handle screwed into place. Now this will actually retain all the components on the inside of the body there. Okay the last bit is to have the nose piece fitted Okay, this is a plated note and it's hardened apparently, so you're ready to go. These tools will do a variety of uh, rib nuts from M4 to M10 and it's the uh, 
kits that you can change on this. They're driven here by the spindle, so um, they lock into place like this actually in the tool itself. So you have a variety of um, fittings that you can use. There's also UNC, UNF, and metric. All right, easy changeover. Website has uh, quite a variety of uh, installation kit fittings, and uh, with this one, I've got two which is the most common I use is M6 and M8 and uh, it's a very good tool nicely made and this uh, goes well in my toolbox along with my other Rivnut tools the only flaw I could find with this tool is on occasion the uh, drive spindle comes out there's a snap ring that I found in the body and it's supposed to be fitted on in this groove which retains the uh, threaded part here so no big deal, that's popped back on and uh, away we go. Memfast have improved this tool and with their new design this uh, fault has been rectified. Let's see what the updated version is like, however I'm only going to give this one a 4.5 spanner rating. But otherwise this is a fantastic and really handy tool. There is another set that is possible to use and we'll cover this later. This is a combination rivnut and uh, rivet tool. There will be a tutorial coming up on this. Finally, rubber rivnuts. Now these are absolutely brilliant. You don't need any tools for these. You just need a drill of the right size and uh, your fittings. Okay, they look like this. These are used for electrical installations or into plastic. You need a larger drill bit for these, as uh, they take up quite a space. However, installation is easy. There is a limitation on thickness of material, which you can find out from their website, or it's stamped on the packets. However, with this one, it's a matter of just um, putting your fitting in. I'm demoing this here, and I'm just using a nut and a bolt. However, you'd screw a bolt straight in, and it acts as a riv nut. The thing here is also an insulator. You can fit things to your dashboard with this or into plastic. So basically you have this and it's quite a secure fitting. The other bonus here is also recyclable. You can use them again. They come in various sizes, which are available from Memfast again. Numbers on the uh, bottom of the screen there. With this, the details are on the packet and you need to know th the uh, thickness of your material and with this is a 12.8 or half inch drill size. So have a look on their website and uh, you'll find them all there. Links are at the bottom of this video in the description page. Okay, that's it for this week. If you click on this link here, it'll take you through to a video we prepared earlier which will show you how to use rivnuts to fit a Defender diesel filter to the bulkhead.